Hello and welcome to the solutions video for forces in two dimensions, solve it, vectors and Newton's second law. So that's listed as solve it with F net equals M times A and vectors on physics classroom. So here we go, three levels, two problems each. So analyze this, a 53.4 Newton force, that's going to go right here. is applied at an angle of 24.6 degrees above the horizontal to accelerate a 6.95 kilogram mass. So 6.95 across a level friction-free surface. We need to complete the diagram. So our force of gravity will be our mass times g. So that is 6.95 times 9.81, which works out to 68.1795. Okay, so we can check so far. Now our Fx and Fy we see are components of the applied force. So our Fx is going to be the 53.4 times the cosine of 24.6 degrees, which is 48 and to the right 3 sig digs, it's actually 48.6. And the y will be 53.4 times the sine of 24.6 degrees, or 22.2 to the correct sig digs. The normal force is going to be exactly enough to keep this block from going through the floor. That means it's going to counteract what portion of gravity is not counteracted by the applied force, because the applied force is pulling it up already. So it's going to be our 68.1795 minus our 22.22939, etc. So our normal force is 45.9501, etc. So that means our net force now is entirely our horizontal force because our vertical forces cancel completely and we have no friction. So the acceleration will be that horizontal force divided by our 6.95 kilo mass or 6.99 to 3 sig digs at 6.98607. So that is our first problem. Our second problem is exactly the same thought process just with different numbers. So we start off with 139.8. That is our applied force. Now we take 139.8 and multiply it by the cosine of our angle, that 37.3. So here that gets us 111.21. And that same 139.8 times the sine of 37.3 will give us our vertical component, which is 84.21. 7, 1, 7, and so forth. Our force of gravity is mg, so that's 23.6 kilos times 9.81. That gives us a 231.516, completely abusing our uh, significant digits. Our mass is a simple 23.6. Our normal force is the gravitational force minus the y component of our applied force again. It's just what is left over. 0.799 to these significant digits. Our net force is entirely in the horizontal component. So our acceleration 
is going to be our horizontal component of the force divided by the mass, which is 4.71 meters per second squared. So that solves the apprentice level. We'll now take a look at the master level. So here, they're just adding friction. But here we don't have to calculate the friction they gave it to us. It's 19.3 newtons. Our applied force is 89.4 newtons. And it's at an angle of 19.5 degrees, which is not a huge angle. So our horizontal component is very similar. It's the vertical component that will look quite different. That is 29.8 degrees. Now our force of gravity is 6.71 times 9.81 again. So that is 65.8251. Our mass is given. Our normal force, again, because we have no vertical acceleration, the normal force is exactly enough to counteract whatever force of gravity is not already counteracted by the applied force. So that will be our 65.8251 minus our 29.84. So our normal force is 35.982766, and it really should be 36.0 to the three significant digits we've been given. So our net force is going to be completely horizontal. It's our 84.27 and so forth minus the friction, which is opposing it. So that leaves us with 64.2. Nine seven. We divide that by our 6.71 kilogram mass, and our acceleration comes out at 9.68 meters per second squared. So one more. Again, we might as well fill in everything that they just tell us. Those are the easy ones. So that's our friction our applied force, and our mass. Okay. So those go in very quickly. Our mass times 9.81 is 254.1519. The horizontal component of our applied force is 248.7 times the cosine of 34.1. And the vertical component is that 248.7 times the sine of 34.1. Our normal force is everything it takes to counteract our gravity. except that component which is already gone are covered by the y component of our applied force so when we subtract those two we get 105.7209821 our net force is going to be the horizontal applied force minus the horizontal opposing frictional force because our vertical forces cancel completely so it's a 151.8 we divide it by our 24.99 mass, and that gives us our acceleration. So this time, it is almost the same, but instead of giving us the frictional force, they're giving us the coefficient of friction. So we know we have a 181.6 Newton applied force. We know we have a mass of 14.5 kilos. And we know we have a coefficient of friction of 0 
So these, we'd better be able to get right. Those are the ones we just copy and paste. To break down our applied force, we have 181.6 times the cosine of 19. So the horizontal component is 171.7. And the vertical component is 181.6 times the sine of 19. That's a 59.123. So that resolves our applied force into its horizontal and vertical components. The force of gravity is the next easiest to figure out. That's 14.5 times 9.81. So that's 142.245. Now, the next one you must do is the normal force, because the force of friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force. So we need to figure out what that normal force is. So that's the force of gravity minus the vertical component of our applied force. So our normal force is 83.122. We multiply that by 0.152, which is our coefficient of friction, and that gives us a frictional force of 12.6 newtons. So all we have left to do now is the net force. That will be our horizontal applied force minus our frictional force. That's 159.1. And with that net force, we divide it by our mass and we get our acceleration. The second one is going to be another identical approach. Our applied force is 242.1 newtons. Our coefficient of friction is 0 0.243. And our mass is 23.6 kilos. So from here, the first two we can resolve are the horizontal and vertical components the applied force, and we can also resolve the gravity right away. We will need those two before we can move on. So the 242.1 times the cosine of 24 is 221.2. And our vertical component, the sine of 24, works out to 98.47. The force of gravity is 23.6 times 9.81. That is a 231.516. So now we must go to the normal force next, because we will need that to calculate anything else we are still missing. So our normal force is 133.045 newtons. That's by taking gravity and subtracting that y component of the applied force again. Now the force of friction is always the normal force times the coefficient of friction. So we could take that answer and multiply it by 0.243. And that gives us a 32.3 Newton force. So then our net force on this is again completely in the horizontal direction. So we take that horizontal component of the applied force, we subtract our friction, and our net force is 188.839406, divided by our 23.6 kilo mass, and our acceleration comes out to 8.00 meters per second squared. This completely solves vectors and Newton's second law.